Hello everyone! Welcome to my birthday vlog. You'll have already seen me in this position if you watched last week's vlog where I... God, I'm still looking a little bit worse aware. I've been, I've been very emotional this morning. If you watched last week's vlog, you'll see the actual like start of what this was. My breakfast in bed and my special, my special birthday cake that Alex bought me. <laughs> and my favourite chocolate bar, honestly. Who else just loves this chocolate bar? This is Steph's favourite chocolate bar too. Is it really? Yeah, it's so good. Alex bought me Dior plates. It's my birthday present, it's just amazing. But I've got some more presents to open. This doesn't usually happen, I don't usually have this many presents, do I? We're not usually here though either, do you know what I mean? Like... I know, I know. And then last year I was on my hen do. So I didn't even see you last year. Yeah. So this is so nice. Yeah, we've just had um, the Victor, some Victor and Ralph goodies. Again, this is all in the other vlog. I don't want to kind of repeat it. We've got some other bits here. Okay, shall I have a look? This is off one of my very good friends. She signed the card, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> Hortus pink grapefruit and elderflower gin liqueur. That sounds amazing. It's got a little bee on it. I wonder if it's a Manchester it one. It's made in Manchester. Oh no, it's made in France. Oh, I'll enjoy that. No drinking that, you. Very booby this morning. Sorry, it's just because I've got... Look at this, she's, she's bought. We could do like cakes and flapjacks and stuff in this. Square, t square cake tin. <laughs> <laughs> she knows me well. This is great. Little muffin tin. Ooh. It's really nice, that. It's really like robust. I can't believe we don't have anything like this already. I know. Yay. Really, really useful present. Thank you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> this one is from... Rebecca. It's so strange opening all my stuff a day early. What is this? Red velvet cupcake kit. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a little kit to make red velvet cupcakes. And they'll go in the cupcake holder perfectly. Icing sugar. Oh my gosh, look, a little red uh, berry flavouring. Oil, cupcake. This is amazing, look. You get like the whole, and you get like the cake batter in there. Fantastic idea. I didn't know that anyone did anything like that. Oh, I love red velvet cupcakes. Rebecca loves red velvet cupcakes. They're like her favourite. And what's this one? Double chocolate cookie kit. She knows I'm not eating much sugar right now. Oh my god, look. You're just going to eat those out of the bag, aren't you? Oh my gosh, look at this sugar mix. Bloody hell. That's all sugar. Oh, this is amazing though. Whoa. How much sugar is in that? Quite a bit. This is amazing. What a cute present. Cute pie. All my friends know how much I love cake. <laughs> it's true. I'm baffled as to who this is from. This could potentially just be a press gift. <laughs> I don't know about. Ooh. Oh my god, monkey, monkey 47. 47. I'm such a weakling. Oh, happy birthday. We hope you have a really special day. Enjoy sipping your gin in the sunshine. Love everyone at Edge of Ember. That's so sweet. I love the ladies at Edge of Ember. That is so lovely of them. I wonder how they knew this was my favourite gin. Maybe Rebecca told them. That is amazing. Oh, that is so kind. Final present. How oh, cool. Oh, it's broke. Oh. It's broke. That's a shame. Oh, that is so typical. When is homeware not broke? Jeez, I'm not surprised it's broke. It's, that is the thinnest bubble wrap. It's not even blown up. And it's not even blown up. <laughs> yeah. It? Oh, what a shame. Okay, let's see what isn't broke. This looks amazing. This is all... Anthropology. I oh, like that. Oh my gosh, you're gonna want one of these. That's awesome. 24 karat gold decoration. Wow. Hand wash. Dishwasher only, yeah. That's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I want that to be like my coffee cup in the morning now. <laughs> but yeah, it's not blow, it's barely blown up, is it? That bubble wrap. Oh, that's nice. That's gorgeous. I might actually use this as like a trinket bowl. That'd that be great is. for like serving guac and stuff. Join in. Anthropology do the most amazing homeware stuff. I've never checked it out. Have you not? No. Oh, it's gorgeous. Those little bees are from Anthropology. Are they really? Yeah. And this would have been a perfect like serving platter plate. Absolutely destroyed, isn't it? Three pieces. Love it. And it's perfect for like our kitchen colour scheme, isn't it? Good start to your birthday then. Amazing start to my birthday. Can't believe it. I don't think I've had this many presents in years. No. You're very lucky. <laughs> Thanks, babe. This is so special. Hey cutie! Oh, someone's sleepy. Me too. 
we're at my mum's now. We're just having a few days. Just to celebrate my birthday, and obviously because there's not been, we're not been able to celebrate my mum's birthday due to lockdown. So we're just having a bit more of a, a mini bash at my mum's. Just having a nice little meal tonight. And I'm gonna wear my dress. My beautiful orange dress that pretty much 99% of people have told me that I need to keep. So I kept it for the birthday. I thought I could just do really quickly run through what I'm doing for my birthday makeup. I thought that might be quite a nice idea. I've just put on some more. I mean, this is for overnight, but I just absolutely love this moisturizer. The Zellens Stem Complex Rejuvenating Overnight Treatment. This is one pricey cream, but my goodness, does it feel absolutely unbelievable. I'll script on the skin. Oh, she's having a little lie down now. So cute sometimes. She's a little madam a lot of the time, but she's so cute. She's having a chill. No doubt she'll hear a motorbike any minute and go barking her head off. I'm gonna use my beauty blender, so I'm just giving it a bit of a, a wash. There's no motorbike. No, I can't hear a motorbike. <laughs> oh. Hey. What you what you listening to? I can't hear anything. Right, makeup sponge. Um, I'm gonna go quite blowy, so I'm gonna use the Becca Skin Perfecting Liquid. I'm just gonna use like a little bit of this. In fact, I might use it. So I'm gonna use my Fenty brush and just like sweep this over the skin a little bit. I like to use this as a highlighter as well. I just add it on top a little highlighter. It's my actual birthday today, so my phone is going crazy with people wishing me happy birthday, which is so, so nice. It's just really nice being home and seeing all of the family. Like we went and saw my dad yesterday as well. So yeah, I'm just very, very happy. Hello, hi, hi. Okay, let's have a look for the skin. I'm gonna go in with a mix of two Armani's. The Armani Prima, which I mentioned in my last video, which is an unbelievable like, everyday kind of product. But I also want to mix it a little bit in with the Neo Nude foundation. And this is in 5.5, so it's a little bit darker. Um, so the two should work quite well. I think you might have seen in my last video, I, um, I might have already said in this video, I put on tan, I put my usual Saint Tropez tan on my face the night before last so that I could come up, come home looking all tanned and um, I put tan on on a day where my face had peel, was peeling from retinol usage so I now have big chunks of skin missing all across here and down my nose now just absolutely wonderful, just what you want I always seem to tan on the days that my face peel Oh, here Alex Hello <laughs> We're having a little time together, aren't we, baby? Um, Tom's gonna be outside in a sec. Oh! Great present. Oh! He's, he's gonna swing back later on with the dog. He's just oh. in his car right now. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh. He said he'll be literally here in one second. Got quite a few lovely presents actually. It's so nice. Dad got me a bottle of wine. He's given me a little bit of money so I can go shopping. I think I'm actually in this vlog. I'm gonna go. I think me and Aunt's gonna have a little shopping trip actually next week. We're gonna go to the Dior store and have a little look around. I mean, I'll be able to tell you why that is in a couple of days because there's a reason why I need to actually go shopping in Dior. I'm gonna do that in a couple of days. And there's potentially something I've got my eye on. <sighs> Honestly. Whew. Sorry. Alex's um, best mate Tom just came around and dropped off a little bouquet of flowers. So sweet. Everyone is so nice. You know who you Good, good friends are, I suppose, around your birthday, don't you? When people really make an effort. Um, I'm just using the Urban Decay Stay Naked. I've got, uh, well, this is the fix. It's in 30 CP. It's a really great little powder. I'm just powdering a few little spats. Fenty. Fenty Cream Blo uh, Bronzer in Macchiato. I'll chisel these out a little bit. So often I kind of draw, I kind of push this together, draw out a line, and then kind of shade upwards from that line just to get a bit of a, a contour feel. This is more of a bronzer, but as you, you know me, I don't often contour with the more grey toned contour products. I do like to just kind of go in with bronzer. This is gonna help really blend away all those flaking pieces of skin but I need to look quite bronzy in this dress. Oh, look at all of this section here, can you see? It's literally coming off in patches, Oh, The Becca, again, but also a little bit of the Galan. I'm gonna put a bit of that on there, and a bit of this over top. I'm gonna use my makeup sponge 
just to very lightly disperse that out a bit. Can really help just like blend it so much more like naturally into the skin. Because it will be taking away the excess and just leaving like that glow on there. I do you want to look glowy and bronze for my birthday? Okay, blush. I'm going to use the Lumine watercolour blush, but also with the Lumine brush. And I'm just going to use that to stipple here over these high points of my face. Everyone is doing these tutorials at the moment on blush placement and how nice it is to kind of add it not so much over the cheeks, but more almost where, if you look at me, this kind of area here is kind of a high point. So I've been adding my blush here and I must admit, I kind of like it. I really quite like this look. It almost acts as another like definer, adding the colour just here instead. And this is just going to help blend that highlight into my cheek. Do you hair dryer? Um, I've not brought mine with me, no, I'm sorry. Do you Mum should ha definitely have one. So it already looks better now, I just add a little bit around the edge of here. This is very, very quick. And then just to finish off with some actual bronze, I'm going to use the NARS. I think this might be Laguna Matte actually. Just a little bit of bronzer. Again, just kind of go around where I went before, set that contour down. Down the neck, I'll be able to work into that more in a minute and I'll show you this amazing product I've got. It's great for that. Kind of add a little bit over my cheeks, kind of blend that excess of product there. And then just over top. Not loads, I've already done most of the work. It's just kind of more of a blending tool. I'd also like to add a little bit. And I'm just going to go over the bridge here of my nose. Again, I quite like it. Just over this part of my nose, but not the tip. I've gone back to using the Charlotte Tilbury. This is Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. I've gone back to using this. I mean, the pigmentation of everything is just divine in here. And there's so many like lovely mixtures of things that are a bit more shimmery with a few more mattes. And the colour choice, it's just such an like, you can wear it all the time. But I love the desk, these desk shades here. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to take this bit of a lighter one right here first and use that just to sculpt out sculpt out the top of my eyes. I mean my, as you guys probably know by now, my dress is orange that I'm wearing for my birthday. So I just want to keep everything quite neutral and smoked out sort of on the lids. I think I'm going to go for that kind of like fox eye vibe. So I'm just placing a little bit more product on the outer corner of the lid. I'm going to add that same product just underneath my lower lash line, so it's a little bit of smoke. Then to my actual lid, I'm going to go in with this lighter champagne colour on a more flat brush. Just going to get it on there. I'm just going to go here with that, a bit shimmery, and take that down into the inner corner section too. And look how beautiful that is. It's got almost a copper undertone. So beautiful. I'm now going to go into the more pinky tone I'm in the middle of desk. This is so pretty. Kind of a bit of that, maybe a little bit of this lightest of date as well, kind of a bit of a mixture. And work that kind of a third in to add a touch of colour through here. And then finally, I'm going to go in with, de with the desk, the darkest of desk here. And I'm just going to kind of start pushing that up on this part of my, this part here of my lid just to really like elongate out this shape. I've done this so many times before, you've probably seen me do it so much but I just want to kind of show you what I'm doing. Again just for this fox eye vibe. So you've got a lovely gradation of colour here into, I'm kind of taking it all the way up into my eyebrow. So it's like whew. And how beautiful is that? And it just really elongates it because it's a kind of darker shade. It's really just like scooped, scooped out. I've just got a black eyeliner. I've totally picked up the wrong one, but it's, it hopefully it'll do its job. And I'm just gonna go so lightly and really thin over this outer portion of my eye. Like I barely wanna take it anywhere. And then I'm gonna wing this up. I'll be back. I definitely can't do this on camera. Okay, just done my lips with Victoria Beckham lip liner in 02 and then my Bare Minerals Peony. I'm just losing battery so quick here. And I'm just going to do um, Urban Decay Lash Freak on my lashes. 
and I'll just plump them up a little bit with some with these and then it's just brows and we are done. Okay, brows, eyelashes, sorted. I've just got more pieces of my face just not being the same colour to my issue with my skin. Like this entire section here is just broken up. I need to do, go over that. This bit's better now. And just taking the now soft mat over any bits that look a bit patchy, like all this section here, completely patchy, better. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll go over with a bit of concealer over it, just to almost give it a bit of padding. Oh, I just don't know what to do with this. I'm just gonna go back in with that Lumine brush in the cream bronzer and just kind of pat that in over top. Definitely better. Finish off with the new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And just set that down. Much better. <laughs> oh well, no one will care, I'm sure. Um, yeah, birthday makeup done. I now just need to do my hair with the corral and get into my dress. I'm into my dress. Um, I'm going to use some of the All Even spray. This is the Luminizing Body Enhancer. This is so good. Right, watch. <laughs> this patch has come off my skin. I'll blend that out. So I use it all here. And this kind of just dries down and I'm pretty sure it's completely waterproof and sweat proof but it's just like a super quick body tan God, it's just so good I mean, look how like how much more kind of flawless that looks now it's everything looks so flawless and has this like shimmery bronzy look and it completely matches my face really really good right I'm gonna do my hair I'm um, not too sure what I'm gonna do with it I did air wrap it the other day but then I've had it up and down and we walked out in the rain earlier and it's really fine rain so it's kind of messed up the whole thing so I kind of need to start again so I reckon I'm just gonna kind of just take bits and go for it like for instance like this front bit here let's go for a little bit of a curly wheel I don't want too much going on and I always like my hair to look a bit more grungy anyway so I'll probably do a mixture of a couple of different hair um, curls like this is what I love doing it's gonna like twist it and then you almost like pull the corral out and you continue twisting it like this I think this is called a ribbon curl and you'll see here it creates a bit more of a flatter ribbon style I do this time a bit of a bigger Turn around a couple of times. We oh, should have brushed this piece of hair better. And then I always like kind of wrap it up and then drop it out again. Let's give it a bit of a bigger, bigger piece. This one here. I might go backwards with this one. And I mean as in curl it towards my face instead. So then you get kind of a mixture of backwards and forwards curls. It always adds a bit more bounce that way. So many of you have bought the air app for a start which I'm thrilled to bits with because I'm obsessed as you've seen. A lot of you asking me which I'd recommend most out of the air app or the corral and to be honest it's very very hard to say because they do two kind of different things. Um, yeah the corral obviously it's a styler and it can kill your hair like this but it's also straightener which you're not going to get from the air app. So if you're someone who does love just to throw a straightener through your hair in the morning the corral's lovely and quick for that. Obviously the travelability of the corral is also unbelievable. Like, I've not brought the battery pack with me now. I've just got this without, um, cause it was fully charged when I left the house. I was like, how and half an hour's worth of power will be fine. It's all I'm gonna need for this hairdo. Yeah, it's just so nice to have no cable. I'm not attached here to any cord. I could be doing this at any point in the room you know, anywhere in the room. It's just so nice and it's simple and easy and... Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Just a really simple grungy twozled look. Just, it just adds loads of texture. And I still have this much left on my battery after a full head of hair. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Right, so I'll leave that on there. 
to cool. Um, just to let you know, I'm wearing all bulgari jewellery. Oh, apart from this one, it's so beautiful. I'll leave this link down below where you can get it. You kind of like build your own rings. Alex got me this for my 30th. Um, everything else is bulgari. The little earrings on, and then this absolutely stunning bracelet. So I'm all bulgari out, and then I just need my heels. <laughs> brought my heels with me. I'll probably only end up wearing these for pictures and for the first like 10 minutes of having a few drinks but I wanted to at least wear them. My Aquasuras. <laughs> How unreal are these shoes? I have to wear them. Um, by the way I sized down a half size in these. I got the 36 and a half and they fit really really lovely and snug just so you know because obviously it's quite a high heel sometimes it's good to go a half size or sometimes sometimes even a full size down but just look at that quality <laughs> i love them they fit so perfect i'll leave this dress linked again down below so you can go ooh, so you can go take a little peek i need to get rid of these i'm going to cut off these strings from the inside and this label actually just so it's a bit more streamlined and i'm wearing it also without a bra today because my, my boobs are nicely kind of nestled inside <laughs> that's it Makeup done, hair done, dress on. My birthday can now start. <laughs> Morning guys, we are off to London today. So I thought I would bring you along again. There's something out of the house, it's always nice. <laughs> it's just me and Alex going on a little shopping trip, actually. We're gonna go and get some lunch somewhere. I'm hoping maybe the Burberry Cafe, because I really, really love it in there. And then we're gonna go to Dior for a little shopping trip. The reason being that probably about four weeks ago now, I um my, so I have like a personal shopper at Dior. He's kind of like my my guy, <laughs> and uh, he let me know there was a like a private Dior sale on. I ended up buying this almost like one of their bar jackets, but sleeveless and beige, like a gorgeous beigey nude. So beautiful, but it was too big for me, unfortunately. Like the extra small was just a bit too big, and it didn't fit the way I wanted for the price of it. So I had to send it back. And then, obviously I couldn't get my money back, so I have to exchange it. Which is why I need to go in today or else I'm gonna lose all my money on that jacket. So I'm gonna go in today and use whatever money I have to kind of exchange for something else. And I want Alex to come with me because I've seen a really gorgeous t-shirt that I think he would really, really like. So we're gonna go and have a look at that. There's also a bag I've seen that is really, really beautiful. And I'm kind of thinking about it because well, first of all, I sent back the Bottega bag. A lot of you will be happy to know. It's strange how many of you loved that bag. There was like half of you absolutely loved it and half of you were like, no, it's not right. I ended up sending it back in the end because I didn't feel like I absolutely loved it and I wasn't eager to like wear it. I wasn't super excited. Like for example, the Dior Bobby bag, I couldn't wait to get out of the box and wear it. Whereas the Bottega, I was all, almost a bit like, what if I damaged the yellow? or what if I'm not as keen, and I just wasn't sure about that shiny gold strap, so I did end up sending that back. So I've seen a bag at Dior instead that's just really, really special. I hope, I think, I think my personal shopper Daniel has got it for me to one side. So I'll be able to show you that. Um, that would be a big treat, that would be like a birthday treat to myself, so we'll see. I know I don't need any more bags, and I know we've spoken about this. But um, I have a special thing for Dior, as you know. But I'm trying to, I am trying to cut down, but I feel like because I've sent back the Bottega, maybe I could get the Dior. We'll have to love it. We'll have to absolutely love it if I'm going to go for it. So we will see. We will see. But I wanted to show you. I'm going to show you this beautiful T-shirt that I found for Alex. And there's a few other things. So I just need to exchange it. That's why. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Unboxing. Alex. Okay, let's show everyone what you got today then. I really like this new blue. It's the men's. Oh, is it really? Yeah. I like it, it's better than the white. I think it is, I think the men's stuff comes in blue. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hello. They're very cool. They're very, very cool. So I nearly bought them when they were just like this. Yeah. Last year. I love them with that extra little bit on. It's so slick, isn't it? I mm. love that. It's great. They're going to go so nice with your top. They're really comfortable. They well. looked so great on as well. They just look so uh, chic and fashionable. Fashion! I like this sort of stuff because it's like high fashion, but it's got that kind of like street twist. Yeah. It's just it? a kind of cool. Yeah, they're beautiful, babe. 
love them. Very, very happy with those. So then you bought, oh, it's so nice, isn't it? It's really that quality, it's like super thick. It's almost a, a sweater jumper material. Feels like you're wearing two t-shirts. Yeah. So it really like kind of. And the way they're sewn it, it does look like it's two t-shirts inside of each other, doesn't it? Yeah. Like almost like t-shirts you'd maybe wear through winter as well. They've really yeah. got that kind of like really thick vibe. It's of, really like, nice. I love that, that little turn up. It's nice. Like, so you can wear it either quite oversized and masculine or so, turn it up so a little bit. nice, yeah. For more flattering fit. But, I mean that bit there is very jumper-esque, isn't it, in the very front? Yeah. It's, I but love it. They do a jumper as well, don't they? It's such a um, a very muted pink, it's just very wearable pink. And you're wearing pink right now. I am, although this wasn't the original pink, was it? No, it's dyed that colour in the Don't wash. Don't Victoria but it, wash your expensive t-shirts. But it looks better. <laughs> the the colour it is now looks better than what it, it was, does. strangely. Uh, yeah. So I'm kind of glad we did wash it. Really happy, love these though. Check you out, Mr. Dior. You're rubbing off on me, McGrath. Mm. Because you've got makeup on stuff from my mask. All of my makeup's inside. So gross. <laughs> so, um, like I was saying earlier, I sent back the Bottega bag. How do you feel about that? I feel I, I'm, I'm really, really glad that I did. I think I, I personally liked it. I just. I loved it. I don't I think it's. Loved it. Did she? And, and the comments were literally 50-50 and loads of people also DM'd me and said please don't get rid of it, it's really cool. It is cool. But I wasn't, like I said to you earlier, I wasn't excited to wear it. Like I wasn't planning a day trip out so I could wear it or I wasn't thinking, oh next time we go out I'll wear it. Do you usually do that for bags? Yeah. Plan day yeah, trips I've got, I've already got this in my head I want to wear it for yeah. date nights, I want to, you know, what dresses, like more special events I'd wear it to, whereas Fair the Tega isn't as versatile. Anyway, but this so, bag is potentially my favourite bag you've ever bought. Yeah, well when you said that I was like, well that's interesting. So I saw this online the other day, I messaged my, my guy Daniel at, D at Dior to see if they had it and they had a couple in because it's brand brand new, so I've managed to get my hands on it. It's so pretty! Okay, are you ready for potentially one of my most beautiful bags ever? There's a lot of hype around this now. Uh, it, I think it's amazing! It is stunning. I'm abs I'm, but this is it, I'm already obsessed with this bag. I wasn't at any point really obsessed with the Bottega and I think that says something. And a lot of people said if your heart's not in it, your heart's not in it. Look at that. I love it. It's unbelievable isn't it? It's completely embroidered so it's like a canvas embroidery and it's part of the new around the world collection so it's got the obviously it's a saddlebag shape it's in the it's so it's not the super teeny one like i have um the one that doesn't fit mobile phones it doesn't fit my large mobile phone unfortunately doesn't fit much does it i think to be honest i'm going to um i'm going to sell that bag potentially Whereas this one, I don't own this size saddle. This is probably the small or medium, actually. If the other ones are small, this one's the medium. But look how beautiful this is. It's great, honestly. It's just so special. It's and the I embroidery love... that just makes it completely. The embroidery like, is just so insane. special. You don't then, have a bag anywhere near this, like anything like no, it. No, I've got nothing like it, and I've been wanting to buy a really special Dior for a while. It's like hints of pink are cool too. The beautiful hints of pink, it's almost like a world map under there, if you see. And Talk then if you look back. on the back, again, it's like this world map. On the back as well, I could have had my initials here. But I thought just for the future, if I hand this down or anything like that, it's just nice. To I think the initial things simple. kind of work on the on the tote the, the totes better, yeah. Because yeah. this is going to probably be always against me, so yeah. you would ever see it. Um, but obviously, it's got the back pocket, and there's again with the map shape here that's in pink. It's dark. It's darker pink. It's absolutely. It's just really special, like seriously a special bag. And then inside, it's just got a lot, lot more room than the small one. Have you tried putting your phone in it yet? <laughs> I don't need to, I mean, it's, it's just big enough. You can see. See, and there's no leather in this, it's com completely fabric. Which is one of the things I love the most about it, actually. Just the fact it's absolutely no leather. So yeah, so this is my super special purchase. But I'm so excited about it, like I'm already like, thinking about a date night I'd wear this to, or if I had a really special dress for an event, I could just hold this. And in the store, I tried it on with my oblique strap. You'll see all this in a minute. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the clips in from our Dior trip. Put this on with it, and it looked amazing with the strap. And then da -da -da -da, 
I then went and had a look in the shoe section. Let's just say I found something that matched. They've updated their dust bags, I think, recently. They don't usually have gold, they all like that. I've been wanting a pair of this particular type of sandal probably for about over a year and I just haven't taken the plunge until this one. So it's the exact matching style of sandal, the exact matching colour, and then it's the, the map, the around the world map print. So it matches with the bag. And they're so comfortable. I tried on another pair in there. You tried a couple on, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, like a new, like a leather pair. And I could already tell that it was going to start rubbing the very top of my foot. Whereas this one, it's really padded. Oh, yeah. Do you see that padding? Mm. It's extremely padded. And obviously with this softer embroidered edging rather than just a leather, they're really comfortable. So I know I'm going to get loads of use out of these. They're just beautiful, aren't they? And again, I was super excited as soon as I saw them. I was like, these are amazing. So You looked at a jumper as well, didn't you? This is the most incredible jumper. Cashmere jumper. I'll, I'll put it on the screen if I can find it online. It's beautiful, isn't it? But it was £1,500 for a cashmere jumper that was cream. And I know that... Spaghetti stains. Just any, any stain on it would be so difficult to get out anyway. And then after maybe like five or six uses, it will definitely get that like slightly used knit feel. No, when it starts to pill. Um, Felt amazing though, didn't it? It was beautiful. Like Daniel said, you just want to stroke it. I couldn't, I couldn't justify that when I was buying a brand new bag and some shoes. So I'm th I'm so happy with our shopping <laughs> trip. Um, we went all that way, and like I say, because I had um, I need to make an exchange of this sale piece. So yeah, so this has been a fantastic exchange from the sale piece to my perfect bag. I'm so happy. Let's go shopping. You don't like shopping. I love like shopping. Anything. Let's go buy me, buy me handbags. Please, oh, yeah. please, that'd be nice. But what do you know? Me and Alex enjoying the juice again. <laughs> this um, cake thing, it's like carrot cake with a cream cheese frosted. Mm. It's just unreal. You like that one, don't you? Chocolate. I've got the avo shake with oat milk. My tuna cardo sandwich. I need like three of these. Flipping heck, you've eaten yours. Do you want to go get another one? No. No, I eat too fast, that's my problem. Yeah, you I do eat too fast. Hungry, but I'm not. Like literally, I've still got half, more than half of that. Have you been on your phone for 20 minutes? I've not, I've been messaging the builder. Well, I've been busy. <laughs> okay guys, we're in Dior. I'm back in my favorite place. And look at this bag, it's brand new saddle from the Around the World collection. It is, can you see that little bit of pink there at the bottom with the map? It's so beautiful. Alex reckons this is like one of the favorite bags he's ever seen me like pick up. Isn't it just gorgeous? Oh. How great is this t-shirt? I've been talking about this t-shirt now for weeks, haven't I? You have indeed. I really, I really like that it's the um, opposite color underneath like that. It's, it's so thick, it's isn't like it? It's like I'm wearing two t-shirts. The, the fabric yeah. is amazing. It's yeah. unreal. It is. I love that. It suits you so much, that so colour. This is Stussy. Yeah. And your... This is the novel that he created telling television. It's unreal, it really is. I, I love it. I, I really... really the it fit and the length is perfect. Fit is, it's a bit boxy, so it no, just it's looks... Like literally, it's it's really flattering. Like, it's like literally like it made for me. What, are you going to try the grey one? Yeah. No, I like no. the pink one. Let me try that. Okay. Yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this bag. And I'll just put on my own oblique monogram strap and it just looks so great with it. I'm a little bit obsessed with this. And I love the fact it's completely embroidery. There is no leather on this bag. I kind of love that about it. So, what do you guys think? I also absolutely love over here this cashmere jumper is absolutely beautiful with this sleeve and then the back oh it's just absolutely gorgeous okay now we're in the shoe section and i just found the matching shoes to the bag that i love i was looking at quite i was looking at a few of the um a few of the different sandals in here like these are beautiful as well but these ones literally like the bottoms match the maps from the Around the World collection. So, so Daniel has just gone looking for 
the bag to bring it back so I can try it on with my shoes. <sighs> now we're doing men's shoes and I've been bugging Alex to get a pair of these for so long. And these are the new Stussy Collection ones, so they've got the big B on the side. They're really nice! <laughs> they look great with this outfit. Just imagine with your pink top on. Okay, it's the end of the day. We've had, um, we've had our decorators in all day, so I've not really wanted to pick up my camera and film. Um, however, I cannot wait to show you in the next vlog what we've had done because by the time the next vlog comes around we will have flooring in and i'll be able to show you kind of like the paintwork we are almost getting to the point of finish when it comes to the hallway well kind of we're at least halfway there now but the decorators have been in doing up the hallway and the staircase and it just looks so cool it's so exactly what me and Alex wanted, something really chic, it's really slick and like, yeah, I, I could not love it more. So the, the our decorators have worked so hard for the past like seven days. Got it to the point where it's just looking absolutely epic. So I can't wait to show you, that'll be in next week's vlog. However, um, I also just quickly wanted, seeing as this is like my birthday presents vlog, I wanted to show you a few of the things that I was sent, like kind gifts that I was sent as birthday treats. Let me just move this out of the way. Almost a bit like PR things, but they all came in the birthday week, so I'm kind of seeing them as birthday gifts, whether they were or weren't. <laughs> First thing being these super sweet little candles. These are from um, a friend of mine, Janice. Janice Juicema on Instagram, and she's collaborated with Marla, the brand, to create her own line of candles. This is my particular favourite, Creamy Cashmere, because it literally, the scent is kind of what you'd imagine. Oh, it's so... It's probably one of my favourite candle scents I've ever smelled, actually. It is just super creamy. It's almost got this really light vanilla ice cream kind of scent without being too sickly. It's really subtle. It's quite a mature kind of vanilla undertone. It's exactly what you'd imagine from Creamy Cashmere. It is absolutely beautiful and such, so cute with these little tops to put on top of the candles. And on the inside, it's got a huge wick. I have not yet come to light this, but I imagine it probably like, um, it looks like one of those wicks that would make loads of noise, not like the wickerwood ones do. Um, so she sent me over that as a little treat and also date night, which is a lot more kind of orangey and deep and like cloves. It's the kind of thing that I love around autumn, that smell like the cloves and orange and just something quite deep and not too feminine, really beautiful orangey smell so they were beautiful little candle gifts i was also sent this little floral gift from infinity london i have over here you might remember i have their roses in this box these roses last a year and they're just a really special kind of piece to keep and amazing to receive as a gift because they literally last a whole year and they have just launched these beautiful little flowers in boxes so perfectly kind of placed together and again they kind of last about a year I believe and there's a few different colours. There's also a drawer that comes out so you could put jewellery in there if you wanted to then you can just kind of have this placed on your cabinet. I don't know where I'm going to leave it yet. I need to have a think about somewhere really beautiful to leave this because it's absolutely stunning and such a gorgeous birthday gift. I cannot wait until I can film here with windows. My, the Velux windows are here. We ha already have them here. I'm just waiting to have them fitted at the moment. So that's gonna be a couple of weeks, but it's gonna completely transform this room. So I just can't wait for that moment to happen. I have a new pair of sandals. I've been wearing them all like nonstop since I got them. So these are from Churches. So like a new line they've just brought out in loads of different colors. Um, and this was again a super kind gift and I went for the tan shade. They are so comfortable. I have not taken these off. As you can you can already tell they're quite a bit worn. So super comfortable, lovely and padded. I just really love the um the style of these. It's just like a really simple sandal, but really beautifully made and gorgeous quality. So I am loving these. So thank you so much to churches. And another incredible gift, honestly, the amount of beautiful gifts I've had is just crazy. This stunning little bag from Todd's. The Todd's team sent this over to me and I am actually truly smitten with it. I think it's so, so cute. The shape of it, it's got this beautiful big T on the front, opens like this 
And inside, I've left it all packaged so I could show you properly. Loads of room inside. It's a triple section. I think it's gorgeous. And in this colour, it's such a wearable bag. Like I can imagine myself getting loads of use. Just like throwing this on. Just throwing this on if I'm just going to the shop or a really quick errand somewhere. I don't want to grab like another bag that's a bit bigger and I don't really need it. I just want to get this and throw my keys in it and my cards and a lipstick and go. You know, it's that kind of super easy bag, but the colour is beautiful. So thank you again to Tards because I'm actually like so smitten with this. I couldn't have picked a better colour for me. So I absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah, I've got one more gift to show you, which is unbelievable and it's just downstairs. So just give me one second. Okay, and the final gift to show you, I was absolutely blown away by. I can't actually believe it. This is a super special treat from the Bulgari team. Let me just... Um absolutely gorgeous so this is part of the diva's dream collection i've got alex here to, to put it on this is one i made earlier look how absolutely beautiful that is it's absolutely stunning oh it's gorgeous i can't believe i could not believe it when it arrived it's so beautiful it's so delicate it's very much my kind of jewelry like super duper delicate and it's in white gold with diamonds on both sides of the little pendant. So sparkly and beautiful. Yeah, honestly, I was absolutely... When this arrived, wasn't I just like, oh my... No. Yeah. I didn't expect it. I didn't know it was on the way. Rebecca knew it was on the way. I had no idea. And I was just absolutely... Yeah, speechless. So thank you again to the Bulgari team. As a lot of you guys know, I've recently joined Bulgari as, as their accessories ambassador in the UK, which is an enormous honour. The most unbelievable birthday. I know last year's birthday was incredible for my 30th, but I feel like I've been treated even more so this year. So I also got sent so many bouquets of flowers. Um, Armani, Lumine, Nessa Porte, Farfetch. My mum got me flowers. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much to everyone who's made my birthday so, so special. <laughs> it's been really, really amazing. But yes, I cannot wait now though. The next next, next thing to show you is this, this hallway. And every time I walk through it, I'm just like, oh, I love it. I'm just, I'm so over at the moon with it. I can't wait to show you that. I'm dead excited. Because I know a lot of you guys like to watch the home improvement stuff when I do my vlogs and honestly next week it is coming next Sunday so but anyway thank you so much as well for all your birthday wishes and everything else you've been wonderful and supportive so thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one bye